suppose. When you wash your hair or put on makeup, are you getting a dangerous dose of toxic chemicals in the process? Safety advocates are sounding the alarm about potential health risks and thousands of cosmetic ingredients. Como for problem solver Connie Thompson has a closer look at what the ingredient labels don't tell you. Soaps, gels, polishes. Octo methoxinamate. The typical consumer uses between 5 and 25 personal care products every day. Shampoo, conditioner, soap. We slather on creams and lotions, brush on powders, fill our hair and the air with sprays. But what are we putting on or in our bodies? Phenoxytanol. Formylehyde. Dibutyl phthalate. Biologist Renee Sharp says reading labels is worthless if you don't know what they mean. Sharp is senior analyst for the Environmental Working Group, a cosmetic safety advocate in Washington, D.C. There is real evidence of harm. Sharp says studies show as many as half the personal care products on the market have at least one chemical linked to either reproductive problems or cancer. We're basically conducting a giant chemical experiment on ourselves. For example, parabens. Parabens are widely used as preservatives. Ethylparaben, propylparaben, methylparaben. Which are uh, suspected carcinogens that have actually been found in breast cancer tumor tissue. Published studies also link parabens to the possible disruption of reproductive hormones. Many nail polishes contain the controversial chemicals called phthalates. The industry insists they're safe. Health advocates say tests associate phthalates with abnormal reproductive hormone development. I figure if it's in the stores, it's got to be safe. Of the more than 350 pages of the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetics Act, here's the section on cosmetics. One and a half pages. Safety testing for cosmetics is left to the manufacturers. So the Environmental Working Group launched this cosmetic safety database website, Skin Deep. Type in the product or ingredient and get descriptions, potential concerns, and a color-coded hazard score. Green for low hazard, yellow for moderate, and red if the hazard is considered high. Oxybenzone. The oxybenzone in Kathy Matson's skin cream prevents sun damage, but also raises concern about potential problems with reproduction development. It gets a skin deep ranking of seven. That gets into high hazard. That's scary. That's terrifying. Oxybenzone is the active ingredient in many sunscreen products, even sunscreens made for babies. There's more breast cancer in women than there used to be. More breast cancer in women, more testicular cancer in men. But are the chemicals the cause? That, says Harborview pediatrician Sheila Sapien Arana, is the million dollar question. We have a lot of animal studies, but we don't have a lot of human studies. Her own recent studies do confirm higher phthalate concentrations in the urine of infants exposed to baby care products with phthalates. The doctor's prescription? Minimize all chemical exposure to infants and young children. Women of reproductive age or women who are pregnant should minimize their exposure too. For everyone else, be aware of what's in the products you're using so you can at least make an informed choice. The Personal Care Products Council insists the products we use are safe, saying a lot of information on the Internet is inaccurate and misleading. The industry has launched its own cosmetic database with its explanation of cosmetic ingredients. We put them both on our website, comotv.com. Click on Consumer.